All right, let's talk about something we all can probably relate with here. Feeling a little aches and pains during this season, winter, fall, spring, you know, there's actually some science behind that though. Mm, all right, but the science is not simple. Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso explains. It's the time of year when you might think cold weather is also a cause for aches and pains in your body. Turns out that's not totally true. If there's a very quick drop in uh, pressure, uh, that is definitely going to uh, increase the amount of pain complaints. And there are actually studies done when that change happens very quickly, uh, the number of uh, doctor's visits for pain increases. Dr. Rajneesh is the director of the Neurological Pain uh, Division at OSU Wexner Medical Center. He says that sudden changes in atmospheric pressure lead to aches and pains in the human body. The slight swellings in the joints uh, can increase joint pain. Um, and that same uh, uh, swelling of tissue in our sinuses and other places around the brain can increase headaches and migraine headaches. These changes in pressure occur leading up to a storm system moving towards the area. So when air pressure changes, uh, the air column within our uh, airways and our sinuses also change. And so there's an additional factor, and that's why you see uh, the the propensity for people with headaches to have headaches increases uh, with weather change. Those with past injuries to the body can also feel the pain or discomfort where the injury occurred. Nerve endings will grow in where they normally wouldn't be or they behave abnormally because of the change in the tissue. Um, so what happens is that then those nerves or those areas are more sensitive. The colder weather doesn't help, but the cold is actually not the culprit. The data doesn't bear that to be true. So it's not necessarily the cold weather, it's the change in pressure. Um, and that is going to happen no matter where you live. Dr. Rajneesh says for those dealing with aches and pains, he suggests to stay active, stay warm, and take NSAIDs if necessary or other treatments preemptively. Reporting for 10TV News, I'm Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso.